Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Sumaya Abubakar. The news in brief. Gunmen have attacked the Independent National Electoral Commission office in Enugu South local government area, killing one police officer. INEC National Commissioner Festus Okoye in a statement on Monday said fortunately the attackers could not gain access to the main building as a result of the rapid response from the police and army personnel from the 82 division. The arraignment of John Bivandi, the policeman accused of killing a Lagos-based lawyer, Omobolanle Rahim, on Christmas Day last year, has begun at the Lagos High Court, sitting at the Tafawa Balewa Square. Vandi was arraigned on a one-count charge of murder before Justice Ibiron K. Harrison. He pleaded not guilty to the charge. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed 42 additional COVID-19 infections in the country in two weeks, with Lagos State recording 27 cases. The NCDC made this known via its official website on Sunday. NCDC said that Edo, Kano, Nasrawa, Kaduna, Plateau and the Federal Capital Territory contributed to the remaining figure. And lastly, an Egyptian court on Sunday handed down life, uh, life prison sentences to 33 pe 38 people, including a self-exiled businessman whose social media post helped to spark anti-government protest. A series of video and other social media posts by Egyptian businessman Muhammad Ali, who now lives in Spain, led to scattered street demonstrations in September 2019 over allegations of corruption and other issues. 23 of those who got life um, um, were tired were tried in absentia. And that is all on Trust News Summary. Do not forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Sumaya Abubakar. Thanks for watching.